Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Chef AJ and welcome to Healthy Living Live. My guest today is Bernardo de la Vega. He is the CEO of a new company called Meal Fee, which I was just introduced to by my good friend and cookbook author and recipe creator extraordinaire, Kathy Hester, when she had this contraption that I could not believe. It, it was a lid to a pressure cooker that actually turns your pressure cooker into an air fryer. And it sounded too good to be true, so I tried it and I put a video up on YouTube yesterday where it actually does. And you you can use any six port or air, air, air six port or eight port air fryer. Six, okay, I can't, I haven't done a live show in a long time. So you can use any six quart or eight quart pressure cooker. And with this amazing lid, which is less than $50, turn your pressure cooker into an air fryer. So for those of you that want to try air frying, but don't really want to invest in an air fryer, or even more so, what I hear from a lot of you is that you just don't have the counter space. You don't have the room for another appliance. Well, this is just a lid. It's awesome. And I am going to bring on the CEO and the guy that helped invent it to tell you all about it. So please, Welcome, Bernardo de la Vega. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much, Chef AJ. Thank you so much for inviting me, and I'm um, really happy to be here with you. Right, and I'd love to hear all about your company, your products, how you thought of this great idea, and of course, as we go along, if people have questions for you, I'll ask you them. Perfect. So where'd you get the idea for this lid? I mean, that's pretty amazing. And show it. Show us your products, too, please. So yeah, so yeah. Th again, thank you again for uh, for um, inviting me on this uh, on this live. Um, yeah, so Mealthy is a food medium kitchen appliance uh, company. Um, our main product is the electric pressure cooker, uh, and as you as you just announced, uh, we just released literally yesterday. We were in pre-sale our Mealthy Crisp Lid, which is this one right here. Uh, which I know you actually already shot one video yesterday that's already on YouTube uh, doing uh, fries. Um, and this is what it looks like from the, from the bottom. Um, and basically this lid will turn any six or eight quart pressure cooker into an air fryer. Um, and uh, yeah, it, um, it's really easy to, to operate. Um, you just press the, uh, the temperature button and then uh, increase or decrease the, the temperature and then the time button and then you hit start and uh, and you're good to go. Um, with Meal C, uh, we believe that the, you know, once you buy the kitchen appliance, come, with the kitchen appliance, that's only the beginning of the journey as we have a whole lot of recipes on our on our website and app. Uh, we actually already have over 100 crisplit recipes. Uh, we have over 400 pressure cooker recipes uh, and we have a whole lot of also air fryer recipes um, as all these are, are part of what you know, sort of all our all our products that we carry. Mm -hmm. But how did you figure out? I mean, where did you get the idea to make a lid? I mean, to me, like that's just brilliant. Yeah, yeah, great question. So the idea came because uh, to me, there is there, there's a few things that people are looking for in the market, um, which is to me that's how, how sort of Milty came about, right? Which is convenience. Uh, making things easy and they're absolutely making things healthy, right? That's how uh, mealy it comes from the word meal and healthy and sort of you know join those together. It's called, uh, that's why that's how mealy came about. Um, I've always been really into sort of healthy eating and therefore um, you know in the last three years there's been a sort of really big demand for pressure cookers and in the market and I would say in the last year year and a half there's really been a really big demand for air fryers. So. Um, for us, it was just a matter of saying, okay, so how can we combine these two? And for our purposes, one thing uh, that everybody obviously really likes is that we made this lid able to work with a whole lot of other uh, sort of pressure cookers and not just our own. We didn't say, well, this will just fit the meal thing multi-pot. This will fit any six and eight quart pressure cooker. So the, uh, the idea came about of, of, of us saying, okay, how can we make a pressure cooker, a two-in-one appliance, and then what are the things that people are really looking for? Like one thing that um, ever since we started uh, uh, doing pressure cooker, and as I sort of reading a whole lot of reviews, and it's just something that I that I really like to do and really understand what people are, are thinking, what they're looking for is one they wanted to see inside, right? People would love to see how how things are uh, how the food is cooking. Uh, so that was that was a big part, which is why we made this class 
in here you can actually see inside through the glass while it's cooking. Um, the other thing that we realized was the making things really easy to operate. So that is why we designed uh, the user interface, which is this control panel, to be extremely easy and just have really six buttons, right? Temperature um, and time, and then plus or minus to increase that, uh, and then stop and play. So having that, and then a, a really good way of, of, of um, lifting the lid and putting it back on. So to us, it was, it was a matter of saying, okay, what are the most important things that our customers are looking for? And then having that convenience of turning a pressure cooker also into, into an air fryer, and then thinking that we want to, we want Mealty to be sort of for, you know, for everybody that even if somebody else has a pressure cooker from another company, they'll, they'll see, they'll look at uh, the Mealty crystal and say, wow, this is awesome. So we believe in sort of building on uh, what is kind of like what is already out there as we are a relatively new company as we launched our pressure cooker in, in January of 2018. Uh, and there's other, obviously, uh, other, all, a lot of other pressure cooker brands that are much older than us. Uh, and even though we're relatively new, we feel we're already innovating and we have a lot more a really innovative product that's, that, um, products that we're going to be releasing over the next two to three months, uh, which we're really excited about. But right now, uh, everybody seems to be really excited about the, this crisp lid that, uh, again, covers those things, the convenience, ease, and, uh, and health factor of, uh, of air frying and pressure cooking. Mm -hmm. I think that was really cool, though, that you made it so that it would fit on other units because I think that just will, will be more people will be interested because a lot of people are like, oh, now I got to buy a whole nother appliance. Well, right. not, not necessarily. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to figure out this technology? Because I, I would never have thought to combine the two, you know? Yeah, well, luckily, um, you know, Milvi has some really, really amazing uh, engineers. Um, and so we, you know, we work with them. Uh, one of our engineers kind of, he, he was the one who was, who, who brought the idea and then we sort of, you know, sort of, we kept tweaking and said, okay, what are the, what are the things we want to sort of put into this? But, um, yeah, I work very closely with our, our engineers. I'm not an engineer myself, I would say, but I'm definitely a sort of a, a marketing guy. I also have a finance and, and background in finance. So with, you know, sort of like all those, those pieces combined, uh, we create some really cool products, and uh, um, yeah, that's that's kind of sort of how it came about um, with with really good uh, product engineers as well. Mm -hmm. Right. So so I posted a link where people can go to to get the crisp lid, and it is available now through that link. Correct. Yes. Yes, it's available to, and it'll ship out. If you buy it today, it'll ship out the first thing tomorrow morning. Yep. And mm -hmm. it's not available in any stores. Correct. Right now. It's not available in any stores. We just literally launched it yesterday. Like it officially went uh, for sale as it, we, it was on pre-launch before. So not available in any stores. You can just buy it right now just on Milky.com. Uh, and we've had already, you know, our, our, our website is really blowing up. Uh, sales uh, yesterday and today really have really, have really taken off. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, we have a question from Benita. I have a pressure cooker that I use all the time. I'm wondering how does it seal to keep the heat in? Yeah. So good thing. So the way the way it works is you would absolutely uh, first use your pressure cooker lid, which is your this is your pressure cooker lid. So as that as you close that, right. So once you're done pressure cooking and you release the 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 pressure, obviously this one this one's turned off. So then once you're done pressure cooking, then this lid will allow you to air fry, crisp, or grow, right. So you would not be pressure cooking uh, with this, uh, with this lid. You would be air frying, crisping, or broiling. So therefore, you want you don't have to use your air fryer. You don't have to use your oven, right? Uh, for that, you can now use those sort of the milky crisp lid. But this would just be for for uh, for the air fry uh, part of the sort of of your cooking process, or the broiling, or the crisping, not the pressure cooking. As that, you would use your your regular pressure cooker lid. Nice, nice. And uh, would you like to show everything that comes in the box? Because there was a lot of cool things in there, not just the lid. Yes, yes, great point. So we also, you know, at, least, at Milky, we really like to think, okay, what do customers really want? Which is also why we have an app with a whole lot of videos, instructional videos, of all these cool sort of uh, additional functionality to, that you have. You can create grocery lists, 
Uh, you can leave your own personal uh, recipe notes. So say if you say, well, I'd like to add more, more tomato and more cheese to this recipe, for next time you can do that, right? You can make notes. Um, so from a user perspective, uh, so once you use the crisp lid, obviously it's a little, it's a little hot, right? So we have a silicone uh, mat, which you can uh, which you use to, you place it on your counter, and then you put the crisp lid on top of the, the silicone mat, so it's a heat resistant mat, right? So you don't, in this case, burn your, burn your counter. So that's one. Uh, then it comes with an elevated trivet, uh, which this, what this does is this brings the, the basket, which it also comes with, closer to the heating element. And you can also use like your regular, for example, this would be the regular uh, trivet that comes with regular pressure cookers, right? So the regular trivet is this size. This is the one we provide. So you can always use your regular trivet as well and use a bigger basket, right? So uh, we, we provide this one so the, uh, the food is closer to the heating element. Uh, but definitely uh, you can use whichever one uh, you feel sort of you know, more comfortable for your cooking process. And then obviously the, we provide some tongs um, as these allow, you know, especially if you're doing fries, uh, especially like chicken wings or any, uh, any sort of food uh, that allow you to really grab the uh, grab, grab the food for just ease of use. Um, and uh, yeah, so these, those, those four things, uh, come with the um, with the crisp lid, which are right here. I'll show them all together. Which is the silicone uh, trivet, the the basket, uh, the stainless steel elevated trivet, and the tongs. Mm -hmm. Wow! So we have a couple of questions, yep. and somebody is asking. Uh, Mary, that her liner of her pressure cooker has a non-stick finish. Will it work with it, or will it only work with a stainless uh, steel insert? Yeah, great question. So we've done all our testing on the uh, on stainless steel. The problem with non-stick is while you could potentially use it, we don't recommend it because our crisp lid goes up to five hundred degrees. So when you go up to 500 degrees, there's a problem with nonstick where it'll affect the code coating, right? So after a certain use, your coating might start to sort of peel off, which is certainly something we don't want to happen. So the reason is most air fryers go up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, our crisp lid goes up to 500, so that's it's actually higher. So because of that higher temperature, we recommend just using it with a stainless steel inner pot and not with a non-stick because it's a much, it's a pretty elevated, pretty high temperature level that this reaches for really good sort of uh, cooking. Um, and therefore, non-stick is really not made to go that sort of, you know, in terms of so up to those, those temperatures. But that makes sense. What about if they have a ceramic pot? Same? Only use in Yes, yes. We would still recommend just stainless steel in a pot, which you can, you can always buy, uh, you know, for example, I have here like, Here's an extra, I have one side, here's an extra one. Um, these usually sell for about, you know, 20 to $25. Um, so I would say, you know, if, if you're definitely interested in the lid, uh, you know, you probably want to invest in a stainless steel inner pot. Uh, they're, they're really good. And uh, for me, they're also usually easier to clean. clean. Um, and depending on your cook, what you're cooking, it'll be sort of great, right? Obviously, you know, sometimes people use like the, the non-stick for like if they're cooking sort of rice or you know kind of those kind of things but um usually for uh for, for all, all other things the stainless steel is is really really good um and therefore you can use the then the, the crystal mm -hmm. right candy says she's concerned with burnt on drippings since her pot isn't non-stick i i haven't had any drippings that burned on i mean i've only used it three times but i it just washed right off whatever dripped right so, so that's good. So um, Rosemary's saying you're blurry, but I can see your pot perfectly. So that's the main thing. So uh, uh, let's see. So uh, Lauren says, going to buy a larger size pressure cooker. Where can I find information on your eight quart and how does it compare to the Instant Pot? Uh, great question. So um, so we sell our, our six quart and eight quart pressure cooker on a website and on Amazon.com. Right, so uh, you just go to Amazon.com, put like Mealthy or Molten Pot, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll come up right away. Uh, that's for a six quart and eight quart. So you, again, on our website 
or on Amazon. The crisp lid uh, is not available yet on Amazon. It's only available on a website. We were going to put it on Amazon, but we started selling so much, we're like, we're going to run out of inventory sort of on both both ends. So so that's why it'll take a little bit longer. Uh, it's just we're selling a lot. But as it relates to the to the to the eight quart, I would say the biggest thing that we offer that other pressure cooker brands don't offer is one we have a cooking progress indicator uh in a control panel uh for so, so for the price point um it's something that people really really like that maybe for other brands only the really really high-end models offer uh and then ours comes with three different accessories uh, which is the um extra gasket uh, the stainless steel steamer basket, which is this one right here, and then oh, the uh, oh, that's silicone. nice. Yes. Yeah, so usually, if you buy these, because these are probably about fifteen dollars, probably about twenty dollars. This is probably about nine dollars. So buying these separately will, you know, will cost you about an extra fifty dollars. What was what was the third thing that you showed? You showed the the, uh, the bonus gasket, the stainless steel steamer. Are there holes in that steamer? Yes, there are certainly. Yes. Wow, that's neat. That's neat. Yeah. And what was the third thing you showed? It was small and red. I didn't quite make it out. Oh, oh the uh, the the mint. So those are just the the. Oh, little nice. Little, yeah. To you know, may I, if you ever decide, may I make a marketing suggestion of what I wish would have come with any of my pressure cookers and didn't, and I had to buy it on Amazon. Many wow. of us, um, many, you know, when you release the pressure we don't want the steam to get on our walls or maybe we have paintings and they have these little diverters that you can get on Amazon for like nine bucks. And some of them right. look really cute, like little people. And I would think that if you're going to include something, the next run, that would be a very, not very expensive, but very beneficial thing to include. Yeah. Great point. Great point. Yeah. Yeah. The steam diverters. Yeah. We've had a lot of people request them as well for uh, to us. So that's a yeah. point. Mm -hmm. So, 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 uh, since you're mentoring price point, I mean, this this seems like a very reasonable uh, purchase to me. Less than fifty dollars for the the crisp lid. And may I ask what your pressure cookers are selling for? Yes, so our six quart uh, sells for ninety nine ninety five, um, and our eight quart sells for one twenty nine ninety five. So that's a really good price. I mean, that's a really good price for an eight quart. And I recommend to you folks, if you don't have a pressure cooker, really consider the eight quart because anything you can make in the eight, you can make in the six. But if you follow Chef AJ's recipes like cauliflower bisque, you'll know you need the eight quart. Mushroom chili, you need the eight quart. Yeah. yeah. And as you probably mentioned in your video, uh, because of the lid, because it's there's two two lips, uh, the, the crisp lid will fit any six and eight quart, right? This is a six lip. This is the eight ring, uh, and therefore it will fit both. Uh, and so your whichever one you buy, you just you, uh, you use the same crisp. Yeah, that was cool. I noticed for the fries, I used the six quart, but to do a whole head of cauliflower, which is what I did today, I needed to use the eight quart because it wouldn't fit. Right. You know, with the six quart, it was too high up. It would it would have touched the the heating elements. So so uh, Lauren wants to know: Are the temperatures adjustable on the crisper? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, they go by 25 degrees. Uh, so you can go, you know, they start at 400. That's usually where, where it starts. Um, or, or actually 375. And then you can go up to 400, 425, five, uh, 450, and then all the way up to 500. And then you can go down as well. Really adjustable. Uh, super easy to use, like I said, with just the six buttons. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, would there ever be a larger capacity offered? I mean, because I was only able to get two potatoes in, which was enough for me. But if I'm making it for a family, you know, like, it, I don't know, could you ever find some kind of stack system where we, we could do a lot more food? Or is that about as big as it gets for right now? Yeah, no, that's a great point. We actually, that's exactly what we're working on right now. We've had people say, like, this is great. Can you work on some sort of, like, stackable uh, sort of baskets? I just was just talking to my engineer last night um and uh that's exactly what we're currently working on so we're, we're trying to move really fast because we've already have you know we we like to operate on like we we, we put something out, out there that we know our customers love and then we, we we're really looking at what people are saying and then we like iterate really fast on that so right now we're working on a lot of like different accessories for the for the crisp split uh right away but the, yeah that's that's a great point and yeah we will be releasing a stackable uh, basket uh, so you can fit more like you know two levels mm -hmm. right so I, 
the, both of the multi pots are available on Amazon and on your website, correct? But the Crisplit is only available from you. And I have posted a link several times for people to see it if they'd like to order it. Yes, yes. Which people I would suggest people buy it as soon as possible because we are selling so much that we're, we are running sort of constant productions. But uh, sort of the way we're selling right now, we are most likely going to sort of like sell out pretty soon. Are we running more production? Absolutely, but we might be out of stock two or three weeks uh, just because we're we're, just, we're selling so much. So, mm -hmm. All right. Would um would it ever come where you could get the the multi pot and the crisp lid together? Would that ever be an item that would be sold together? Yes, we are working. Uh, we are working on that sort of on the packaging. But at this point, you know, because you can buy kind of like both separately, you know, kind of like almost a, you know within the same purchase. But but yes, we will we will we are working on on that. Uh, that will take a little bit longer um, uh, to to sort of come up. But right now, you can just buy them separately with the same order. Mm -hmm. Right for 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 your uh, for your uh, multi pots, they I know that you had mentioned they come with a lot more accessories that have great value. But the buttons, how how, how easy are the buttons on yours? I, I mean, some 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 as a chef that I when I get a call to do demos. I don't always get the pressure cooker I'm used to. And I'm used to, you know, in the years that I've been doing pressure cooking, I'm used to the cuisine art and I'm used to the instant pot. Sometimes they mm -hmm. throw me a, a pressure cooker and I'm like, I don't know how to use it. So how easy is yours to use? How many buttons are there? How user friendly is it? Yeah, I would say it's, it's really, really user friendly. I mean, you have the sort of the manual pressure cook button right at the top, um, right here. So which is the, sort of the top right. Usually, you know, usually most people use that pressure cook button, which is kind of like that sort of the manual button, and then it has the sort of the cooking progress indicator. So I would say yes, if you've used, you know, that sort of the, the sort of the, the leading brand that you're that you're referring to, uh, you can. It's super easy to sort of use use ours, um, and you pretty much have kind of like the sort of the same buttons are just or laid out a little bit differently. Ours has like a sort of uh, a and and the cooking progress indicator. Uh, which also will just tell you whether it's preheating, cooking, or keep warm, and so you'll always know what sort of what stage of, of cooking you are. Uh, but the buttons are very, very uh, self-explanatory and, and, and sort of comparable to that the, the other brand. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. You know, I, I I wanted to see if people had more questions, but all of a sudden the comments literally just disappeared from the screen. So. Let me uh -oh. see if I can find anything. And, and of course, I can always go back and answer them afterwards. And I know that Anna is watching. And so Anna, who, who works for you, she could also answer them as well if she wanted to. So, well, th this is really cool. I got to say I'm impressed both with the idea and how easy it was to use because I'm not one to really read books. I hate reading those manuals that come with stuff. But it was short and sweet, and I was able to figure it out. And I, I love the safety feature that, with the handle that, it, that you can't, you know, that when you that once you lift the handle up, it, it's it the heat is off. So it is very hot. You have to be. I think. Right. I can still see you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. About the sort of the safety mechanism. Yeah, like you said, you know, the moment you lift the handle, uh, the the unit uh, turns off. Uh, so as you lift it off, it'll never be on. If you know if you if you're doing this right, so the moment you place it on, you put it back on, and then you can start. It'll start uh, start up again. Uh, yeah, definitely a, a, a nice safety feature and a very nice feature for also to to lift it up really easily with with the handle. Mm -hmm. Nice. And you have a couple of Facebook groups, one for just vegans and one for regular. Right. Yes, we do, and uh, people are really active. I know you know. I would I would say you know it's it's I think this space is really interesting. I actually this is my second company. I used to have a beauty company before. You know myself, I'm a serial entrepreneur. Actually, about to launch a hair company. Um, uh, but with with this with this uh, one thing I really love about sort of the pressure cooking space and air frying space is how engaged people are in the Facebook groups. I don't see that anywhere else, so which I think is extremely fascinating. Which I and therefore you know and, and when when it relates to our Facebook group. I'm always there interacting with everybody. Anybody who's in our Facebook group already pretty much knows me. I, I get tagged on like and tagged on different posts like 
at least you know six to ten times a day because people are like Bernardo what about this and Bernardo when can we see this and when will you launch it in Canada and when will you launch it here and when can we see this kind of accessory and so uh, yeah people love to sort of call me out and uh, I'm always sort of there so we, we have a lot of fun uh, in our Facebook group so we, we'd love for more people to join right and I, I I can't post links while I'm running this broadcast but I can post links to those Facebook groups later that people are asking about Benita was saying once done cooking how do you put it down thinking 500 degrees where would you put it he uh, you must have come on late because he showed a silicone mat that you can put it on safely I have very fancy granite counters but I put it on this little mat and it's yeah. absolutely fine yeah. yeah yeah and it comes with it like you said yeah it comes with this yeah mm. Sandy says, is the crisp lid just crisp, or can you cook with it when you cook in the pressure cooker and just crisp at the end? They're two different things, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can do both, right? You can pressure cook and then use the crisp lid, but you can certainly not pressure cook and just use the crisp lid uh, by itself. So you can do both. Right, but you can't you put the crisp lid on and expect your pressure cooker to pressure cook. No, no, yeah, yeah. So, so right. to pressure cook, like, like I said, you must use your pressure cooker lid to pressure cook, and then this the crisp lid will allow you to air fry crisp or burn. Right, that's neat. But would would you ever just go quickly from pressure cooking to crisping? I mean, because like that wouldn't make sense because you need the rack to use the crisp lid. Right. Um, yeah. So I mean, once once you're done sort of pressure cooking, usually we we recommend removing the liquid. Some people do that. Some people don't. Uh, the reason why you would do that is because, like, in terms of sort of removing the liquid, but we've, we've had people not remove the sort of the liquid. So as soon as you're done pressure cooking, uh, just, you know, sort of like putting in the rack, you put in the rack, you put in the basket, you put whatever you sort of you need to do, and then you put the crisp lid on, and then you're sort of your, 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 crisp lid, your, your, your crisping or air frying or broiling right away. The reason why we, we ask people, well, we, can, we, we recommend people to remove the liquid is because... Uh, air frying is based on dry heat, right? Yeah. So if you have sort of humidity in there, you might not get the crisp that you're looking for, but it'll still cook pretty well. You just, you know, with dry heat, that's where the sort of crisping happens. But either way, we've had people who had, have great success with, with water or without water. Um, and therefore, you know, people use it as soon as you're done pressure cooking, using the crisp lid, very, very easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it definitely works because as I showed in my video, my fries were as, I, I, I kind of overcook everything because I like things really crunchy. And right. even without oil, my fries were as crunchy as they are in any other, other air fryer that I have. Yeah, yeah. I watched your video and when you took a bite, I was like, that's pretty crunchy. Um, yeah, it was really crunchy. It was really, really good. Yeah, I just I, the basket, I only wish the basket was a little deeper so I could have put more in it. But like I said, Ed, after we get off, I'll be putting a video of me doing some cauliflower. So I did a whole cauliflower. It was awesome. I steamed it first and then mm. I put some spices on and then I put it in the crisp with the crisp lid. Oh, mm. Benita's asking, what, oh, I'm sorry. Benita's asking what the warranty on your products are. Yeah, so the warranty on our product is one year. So uh, on our pressure cooker is one year and same on our crisp lid. So uh, many of our, of our products, is, it's one year. Mm -hmm. Cool. Jill must have come in late because she goes, who is the man speaking, please? <laughs> uh, so my name is Bernardo de la Vega, and you can find us in the, in the Milti uh, group, uh, find me in the Milti group. I'm the founder and CEO of, of Milti. Uh, we are a food media kitchen appliance company. We launched our pressure cooker in January of 2018, and we just came out with the Milti crisp lid, which everybody's talking about. Right, yes, it's, it's, it might be one of those, I forget what the word is, when it's like a, a sensation of a, you know, that just, I wish you, I wish you great luck with it. It's a great idea. You got anything else you're inventing that, that, that I need? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, we're coming out with a lot of sort of, we want to own people's entire kitchen, right? So um, so we are coming out with a full-size air fryer. Ours has a couple of really cool things that, that we, no one else in the market has. Uh, we can't really say what, it, what they are, but, but the air fryer is really coming. We are developing a, a blender, a nonstick pan, a fry pan. The fry pan is actually about to launch. So a glass kettle and this other uh, sort of appliance that... I kind of like brings everything full circle that we're also sort of developing. So we have a lot of so a lot more products coming. Um, and our whole thing is that once people buy one product, then they download the app, they'll, they'll see the follow. You know, Milti has great products, great content. I can do all these things through the, through their app. Great uh, sort of, you know, Facebook community where even, especially, well, especially sort of the CEO is always sort of involved. So with that, um, 
we we just feel that we um we are a company that really cares about the customer experience we're we're i would say obsessed with the customer experience so we really feel that uh or really hope that you know the people will buy as long as they buy one product uh we're confident that, that they'll keep coming back to, for, for more because of, of everything that we sort of multi stands for mm -hmm. Nice. I just if you could just invent someone that comes with the pots that'll clean my kitchen, then then for sure we'll have a, 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 a well, any, anything you invent. If you send it to me, I promise to try it, and if I like it, I'll tell everyone. And when I don't like it, I tell no one. So it's it's a win win because I love really? healthy, especially healthy food that we can cook without oil, easy and delicious. That's what I'm all about. So thank you for inventing such a fun fun little product that, that really will help people, especially if they don't want to commit to the space or the expense of an air fryer. It's a really, you know, really reasonable price point, less than $50. And if they spend 75, they get free shipping. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think it's a, it's very reasonable and it, it, and it works and uh, it was easy to use and, and it, it didn't even require any cleanup. It really didn't even get dirty, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's super easy to clean. Uh, and that's also part of the sort of, you know, the fact of, because you're using a stainless steel in, inner pot, and a lot of people say one thing that you know that's, that's a good point that you bring up is how easy is this basket to clean? So this basket is also stainless steel, and from all our users that have already gotten their their, their stainless steel, a lot of say a lot of them say I just soaked mine in like three for three minutes and everything came right, right off. Why I put mine in the dishwasher? It was you know it was good as new when it sort of came off, and then also because you're using the stainless steel inner pot, it's also pretty very easy to sort of clean. Um, you know, just regular cleaning or, with, you know, some people like to use kind of like bar keepers. Um, so, so yeah, so very easy to clean because of the fact that you're not using any nonstick on either the, the, the pot or the, uh, the basket, mm -hmm. both same steel. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's great. Lauren said, come out with a garlic gadget that peels and dices or minces at the same time. I'll buy it and spread the word. So, yeah. Okay. But, yeah, you guys, you guys really, when you're creating products, talk to people like me, talk to chefs, and I'll tell you, I got my, I got my fingers on the pulse of what, what the home cook really wants, because I hear, I hear from them every day. So thank wow. you for the opportunity to, uh, to test your product and to share it with people. And I wish you very much luck and continued success. And guys, it's pronounced Mealthy, not Melfi, even though some, because I know that some of the people I'm watching are mispronouncing. It's Mealthy, Meal Plus Healthy. Oh, um, uh, Mary is asking, can you order additional racks and use two at the same time or just one? Yeah, great point. So we are actually about to, that's something that multiple people have asked about, about the sort of the, well, yeah, I think you mean the sort of the basket, right? So right mm -hmm. now we have this rack. Uh, again, this is the one it comes with. This is the one that it comes like your, your regular pressure cooker will come. So it's, it's shorter than this one. So uh, we are in the process of, of selling additional baskets and, uh, well, like, you know, Potentially, we will hope it will be, you know, live in about uh, like three weeks, um, so that you can do like more, more than one sort of basket. But uh, we will be selling additional baskets and then uh, a double stack basket as well. So that yeah, that's going to be good because I, I'd love to be able to like air fry my potatoes and maybe some corn or cauliflower at the same time mm -hmm. instead of having yeah. to do two batches or get two pots. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, people people were asking me, well, why do you need this? You know, if you already have an air fryer, well, I can just tell you from my perspective that I travel a lot and I have always traveled with my pressure cooker. And okay. there's no way I could travel with an air fryer. But guess yeah. what? Now I can because yeah. the lid is not that big and I can put yeah. it in my suitcase or or my carry on. And then when when I travel, I can have both pressure cooking and air fryer capabilities where I could never take the Breville with me. <laughs> you know, yep. It's a yep. little too big. Not a little too big. I'm a lot too big. You guys have any more questions for Bernardo? Otherwise I'll let him go. I, you know, um, I don't know if you want to answer this one, but um, because you're kind of good looking, are you single? <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, actually I am. Uh, <laughs> I, am single. Uh, I, I work all the time. Yeah, um, and uh, but I, I appreciate the sort of the compliment. So so yeah, you seem like a very nice guy. If I'm ever in, you're in Texas, right? If I'm ever in Texas, I'll yes, okay. yes, I live in Austin. Do you guys ever do conferences? Like, do you ever like you know like have booths? Because you know I have an upcoming conference in Vegas. I mean, you could probably sell a lot of these to our people because we are really into healthy, oil-free cooking in my group. 
Yeah, well, we actually went to the uh, EFC, which is the Everything Food Conference, at the beginning of May, where we all the big bloggers, a whole lot of the sort of the big bloggers were there. Uh, I met a whole lot of the sort of the big bloggers that we're currently working with. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, so we, we've been there, and we also went to the Chicago uh, Houseware Show, which is the biggest trade show in the U in the U.S. for uh, for uh, kitchen appliances, right? Most of it's more a whole lot of the sort of retail buyers there, which we're now in conversations with. So those two are the ones we've attended. I would say in the last three months, Chicago and uh, the the EFC, which was for bloggers. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, for, mm -hmm. Sandy wants to know how would I take my crisp lid if I were to travel? Well, if you were driving, you just take it in the box. But if you're flying, what I would do is just wrap it in my clothes. But realize you can't take the crisp lid if you don't have a pressure cooker to go with it. The crisp lid does not work unless it's sitting on top of either a six quart or an eight quart pressure cooker. And what's really nice about this product is you don't have to buy their multi pot. It will work on any six quart or eight quart pressure cooker that you already have. Right. Yeah, I mean, one thing, and you know, sort of to her question. So there's, you know, there's there's a few questions about, you know, there's been a few comments about how do you store it. One thing is, if you put the lid upside down like this, uh, it'll actually fit like that, right? So then it won't pop up. Uh, so then you just kind of have to store the sort of this pressure cooker lid separately. But that is something you can do there. Um, and so you know, just to, to from a from a storing standpoint, uh, once you sort of you you turn it, some people like to sort of turn it. And then put the pressure cooker lid like this, right? So therefore, it's just it's a little bit higher, but then it doesn't really create sort of this uh, a whole lot more space. And also, or also, if, if you have just the space above, you can have your you know your your lid like a like uh, like I have it right here, sort of you know facing up, and then your pressure cooker lid on the side like that. Yeah. Um, so that's why I would say you know in terms of sort of you know storing it, and in terms of sort of traveling, uh, potentially turning it sort of upside down. Right. Uh, Mm -hmm. Leslie is saying that this is genius. She can't wait to get one yet. So, how do your competitors feel? Like, are they sorry that <laughs> they didn't think of this first? Well, I mean, to, to me, is I think uh, the, the way I see sort of the sort of the market is execution wins, right? So everybody has sort of different ideas, and uh, we, because we're as a small company, we're able to move very, very fast. Uh, I'm sure you know, so, sort of some of uh, the competitors are like, "Oh, that's really cool." We why didn't we come up with it? You know, I mean, it happens all, to us all the time where we see somebody else release something and like, oh, that's really cool. Why didn't we come up with it? So, so you know, I think it's it's to, to me the way I see it is at the end of the day, the company that is serving the customer the best, that's the company that or company or companies that really sort of you know rise above everybody else. So, so the the, the end goal should always be who serves the consumer the best and who solves the problems. Right. Uh, that's that's the you know, what company solves the biggest problems, you know, whether it's cooking, whether it's, you know, sort of whatever industry you are. Mm -hmm. Right. What, what amazes me is I've been a big fan of pressure cooking for at least five years, probably longer. And I have every size that I've been able to find three, okay. six, eight. There's so many people out there that are still afraid of the electric pressure cooker mm -hmm. and use it a silly old crock pot, which, you know, I mean, crock pots are great if you remember to like turn them on in the morning and you got eight hours. Yeah. But pressure yeah are amazing I'm, I'm surprised that uh, people are still some people are still afraid Julie yeah. said ordered mine and very excited to get hers yeah yeah when, when people say oh what's a pressure cooker because you know I, I, I tell people what I do and I'm like, oh, we sell an electric pressure cooker and they're like what's what's that and we're like well it's kind of like a slow cooker on steroids um, <laughs> it's kind of sort of you know I would say you know, easy way that I at least communicate they're like okay that, that kind of makes sense uh, yeah mm -hmm. That's amazing. So Julie said she just ordered and she's excited to get it. So yeah, it, it's a really fun little thing to play with, you know? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Bernardo. And thanks everybody for all your great questions for Bernardo and uh, get the lid and let me know how you like it and post some pictures and I'll keep posting pictures and videos as I continue to make things with it. Maybe we can work on a little cookbook for you that doesn't have so many non-vegan recipes. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. just a, yeah, because you because in your in the book that came with it, there were only two, and both of them had oil. And as you get to know me, you'll understand. I I I, have, I even though I've been vegan for forty two years, I teach a very very health promoting style of vegan cooking that doesn't include oil and salt, and that's okay because your products are fine. They work perfectly for my my yeah. my dietary style. You don't have to use oil or salt, so it works. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. my, my younger brother and my mom, they're both vegan. So uh, that's amazing. 
Yeah, well, yeah. Now, I, now I like you even better. So now we'll yeah. just have to work on you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. I, I keep posting the link where you can go get your crisp lid. Make sure you get it soon because Bernardo says they've had such a tremendous response that they are going to sell out and it'll be several weeks. You'll have to wait if you don't get it now. So thank yeah. you so much, Bernardo. I really appreciate you uh, inventing such a cool unusual, nice, really fun product that really fits a need for people that are air fryer curious, but don't want to really invest in an air fryer. It gives them an opportunity to see if they like this technology. And I think once you ha find how delicious potatoes without oil and vegetables taste in, in air fryer cooking, you're really going to be sold, you know, because it's it really is a game changer the way it makes food taste. Yeah, yeah. No, and thank you so much for, for having me and thank you so much for having me with with your audience so you know whenever you uh, sort of you know you want to do this again um, and they, uh, uh, i'm here mm -hmm. oh terrific okay well thank you guys so much for watching another episode of healthy live i'm chef aj i make healthy taste delicious and the crisp lid makes it crispy and crunchy without oil take care everybody bye bye, -bye.